It's a storyline fit for a Hollywood blockbuster. A small ta town wins their fight against the big guy over land contamination. But for those in Williamtown, the compensation was not enough for them to move on and to start afresh. A decade on, they are still living on toxic land that they can't sell. They did this to us. If we'd have done this to anybody else's property, we would be sitting in jail behind bars now. It seems like a nightmare that's never actually finished. It was a battle which was supposed to get families out of trouble, to give them enough to move on from their toxic nightmare. But four years on... We're still here and nothing has changed. Right is right and wrong is wrong. It was done to us, it wasn't done by us and the only ones that actually made money on the whole scenario were the lawyers. In 2020, it was a $212 million payout for those living on PFAS-contaminated land around Australia, divided up amongst residents in the Northern Territory, Queensland and Williamtown near Newcastle in New South Wales. But after the lawyers took their cut, it left very little for the residents of Williamtown. We did end up receiving some money, a little less than 100000 for a downturn in property prices, which was pretty ridiculous when we had valuations saying that properties were worth absolutely zero. There is no chance of me going in it, I'll tell you. Rob Rosewarn has been the fighting lawyers. the Defence Department and Federal Government for nearly a decade over PFAS, which leaked from the Williamtown RAF base near his home. While residents were compensated for the decrease in property value, he says they haven't been for the health impacts. Health is unresolved. The science behind the impacts of this product, felt right around the world, has grown over the time. He says dozens of residents in the contaminated zone have developed cancer. My youngest son was born in the area. He's had multiple tumours on a leg that they had never ever seen at the hospitals in Newcastle. I've had melanomas removed where they have never seen these types of melanomas. At Len and Pam's farm, the signs say it all. Len is riddled with cancer. Our groundwater is uh, contaminated, uh, our paddocks are contaminated, the cattle are contaminated. 220 acres, which was once prime farmland. Now it has one of the highest contamination readings in the area. It's indescribable. You know, like, we're devastated. You know, like, we've got nothing. You know, like, they've taken everything. The farm has been in the family for more than a century. Now they want out, desperate for a government buyback. We put a submission in as the last thing we've had, but uh, it was supposed to tell us in February, but now they tell us it's not till mid-year. We may hear about it. How hard is it driving back onto the property each day? Oh, it kills me. Absolutely kills me. Um, I don't know what we've got to do, but um, it can't keep going on. Kim Leanne wants out too, but without government help, she says they're stuck. Banks still won't loan on these properties, even if we put it on the market. Banks will not loan on these properties, so it would have to be a cash buyer. This is the most interesting part here. Water, when you're pumping it, shouldn't foam and bubble. That's PFAS. Is it hard seeing it then? Like, you knowing that's contaminated? Absolutely, because our animals are in that paddock. She eats and walks in that drain. But I've got to put my animals somewhere. You've got no other option. I've got no other option. She dreams of the day where she can move and start living again. They're not going to cut me out of here in a box. I will not be one of their statistics because that's what you do with your problems. You bury them. And I think that's what they're hoping on. What would be a just outcome at this point for you all? The responsibility comes at a cost. As far as that's concerned, if a lawyer could actually want to take on 
the health scenario for the communities all affected by PFAS, I believe that would be a fair outcome. Well, the federal government has received the buyback plan for the land, but three months on is yet to make a decision.